What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new review. Today I'm discussing the new Jennifer Lawrence film, Red Sparrow. Now, Red Sparrow is a film that I've been very much anticipating ever since I heard the premise and saw the trailer for it. And ever since then, I've really stayed away from all the, any early buzz, any early reviews that I've seen. To be honest, like the only really review I saw was when the embargo got lifted and I was like, oh, hey, getting pretty decent reviews. Besides that, I really stayed away from a lot of what the story was going to be. After seeing the trailer, it very intrigued me to see Jennifer Lawrence as a spy, as this weird Russian spy. How is this going to be? I'll say Red Sparrow is a great movie. It, it, it's really worth your time. It, it goes back to the old slow burning pace Cold War films and for some reason I really intrigued I'm very intrigued by those films. Usually I'm not a fan of slow burn films. Some directors know how to do it well and some directors don't but I think Francis Lawrence really found a stride with his slow burn in here. Even when the film does get a little bit meandering in the middle the film still works on all levels. There's still a certain mystery and intrigueness to these characters that you're watching on the screen especially Jennifer Lawrence. I mean Jennifer Lawrence portrays this main character so damn well that I think this is probably my second favorite performance that she's ever given. My first being Silver Lane's playbook, and now this one being rivaling a second one up to almost one. Because the way that she is so daring and fearless in this film, that she does and shows everything on this film. It is insane. I mean, the whole film can be called Daring and Fearless because the director does not pull away, say, through any of the intense action scenes in here, well, loosely action scenes, but any of the intense scenes in here that you might get that are kind of like, wow, can't believe he just showed that on the screen or didn't pull away. A lot of this film can make people squeamish and even grip your hands very, very tight until you start sweating or grip your knee knees because I'm telling you, that's what this film made me do. A lot of it goes to how this film is made. It's shot beautifully. The score adding into the intriguing and mysteriness of this film, it just adds all into a really good package here. I really do mean that because the thing about this great package here is even though, like I already said, the middle of it kind of gets a little bit meandering and some of the scenes easily could have been plucked out and taken out, a lot of these scenes all add into the, with these characters and the intrigueness of what's going on. For, say, Jennifer Lawrence's character, as much as I loved her character, you don't really know what's going on with her character. Like, mental-wise, like a lot of these characters, you don't know what's going to be going on with them, what their actual motives are, and what aren't. Where it kept me on the edge of my seat a lot of times, because I didn't know where one storyline was going to go and where one other one was going to go. Even I did have my predictions as I was watching the film. I was like, okay, maybe this is foreshadowing to that, or maybe this is foreshadowing to that. But almost throughout the whole entire film, I didn't know where to pick up on, which made this film very intriguing to watch the whole way through, even with the slow burn. But I think that's the thing that I really need to say is that I think the only other con I can really mention about this film, besides the, that little meandering thing in the middle, is that I would have liked to see a little bit more of her Sparrow training. I thought that was the most intriguing part of this film, was when she was being trained as a Sparrow. I do think it was a little bit abrupt when she became, because she was originally a ballerina, and now she just becomes a Sparrow. It, it felt very abrupt to me, and I didn't believe that she would have these motives to be able to do everything that a sparrow does maybe that's just because this is a really hard film to review without giving away any really big details i'm trying my best to stay vague because this is the film that you go in not knowing anything about i i think that's the best way to experience this film i think if you're intrigued with the cold war or any kind of spy mystery elements with the film i think this is the film for you if you're kind of squeamish towards certain things Maybe stay away from this film and look up some other things on it and see if, like, is this the film for you? Definitely, the more I think about this film, the more I've enjoyed this film. It really is a unique flair to a film. And I brought one of my friends to come see this film, and he is one of the pickiest people when it comes to the film. And he came out loving the film. He probably even loved it more than me. I don't think this film is for everyone, but I think this is definitely worth a watch in the theaters. It is a unique and daring fearless film and i think this just goes to show the credit jennifer lawrence is doing with the choices that she's making after this and mother with all that said i'm gonna give red sparrow a b plus i certainly enjoyed this film red sparrow is a very daring and fearless film it does go does not pull any punches it'll show every single thing on the screen which is unique to say the least and i enjoy that aspect of this film before we get to this part guys make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are of red sparrow and also go check out my social media links down below as well you guys can find me at all those links where we can talk more movies and have a lively discussion of course if you don't have those make sure to comment and we'll have more lively discussions down below in the comments do not forget guys to go check out sandwich on films as well down below because we get out advanced screens to say red sparrow or even ready player one coming up or even tomb raider these are all films that i know you guys are all wanting to see so make sure to go check out our website down below so you guys don't miss out on these advanced screens near you of course guys until next time Stay classy.